Horns up and welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. After 38 years of living in this house, I'm finally moving out. And I know this seems a bit ironic given that I recently uploaded a video giving you a tour of this house and here I am today telling you that I'm leaving. But I think the reason I made that video is because I knew that I would be making this video. And when I say my house, I actually mean my parents' house because me and my wife Dipti will live with my parents. And I want to preface this video by saying that it's not uncommon for families to live together in India. We actually, it's more common to live with your parents than it is to not live with your parents. And I know this idea might seem a bit weird to those who are not Indian, I guess. Uh, but that's the way it is. And, you know, these days people are sort of moving out and living on their own. But that's largely still in the major metro cities. But otherwise, across the country, the sort of joint family system where, you know, the parents, the grandparents, the kids all live together is actually quite common. So while it is common for people to live with their parents, why did I choose to live with my parents? Well, apart from the obvious reasons that I love them, I'm happy to be here and be around when they need anything. And they're my family at the end of the day. There were other reasons why I chose to live here. And this goes back to me and my dream of being a death metal musician. You see, when I was 16, I fell in love with heavy metal music and I knew at that moment that that is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I wanted to make music, I wanted to tour the world, but at the same time I didn't have any rock star ambitions because I knew that heavy metal and death metal is a niche genre. So there are no death metal rock stars if I'm being honest, you know. So I didn't have aspirations of having a fancy house or lots of cars, none of that stuff. For me, if I could make enough money to pay my bills and keep making music, I would be happy. And that's the reason I dropped out of college. I got a job and, you know, I basically worked like the minimum, like a low paying job, so to speak, compared to all my friends and my peers and other people in my family, because it gave me the freedom to pursue my musical dreams. And that's also why I decided to stay here, because I live in Bombay, which is a very, very expensive city. Uh, you could compare it to New York or London in terms of the cost of living. So I knew that if I had to move out and rent my place on my salary, I would be living in a dump. And you guys have seen my house. It's a pretty nice house, you know. Uh, my parents are lucky that they own it. My grandfather gave it to my father. So we have had a nice house and I figured, you know, it made sense for me to stay here and not pay rent elsewhere. Uh, and just because I didn't pay rent, I just want, because I'm sure accusations will fly because the internet is like that. I still made sure I contributed to the household expenses. So, you know, while we don't need to pay rent to anybody, I just contributed to the house and I was happy to live here because I also had uh, my studio in the apartment complex. So everything worked out in my favor living here and trust me guys if, if if you have any musician friends especially those who are in uh you know in the heavy metal space they will tell you that the money is just like it's terrible so i i long story short i could not really afford to move out and live in a place that would be half as good as this so yeah in a nutshell i stayed here because i wanted to pursue my musical dreams so why am I moving out now? Well, call it a midlife crisis if you want to, but I'm going to be turning 40 soon and I just wanted to have the experience of living on my own, of having my own place and taking care of the entire house by myself, having my own kitchen where I can film all the time. And I'm actually in a place where I can financially afford to do this. And I have you to thank for it because I never dreamed of being a YouTuber. I had no desire, aspiration, expectation that I would be making videos for a living on YouTube today. And that's all thanks to you. You guys watched my videos, you shared them, you still do all that. And that's the reason I became financially able to do this, you know. Like I said, I've always worked a job that barely pays me anything, just enough to pay the bills and give me the freedom to pursue my music. but. 
with this YouTube job now, with this YouTube gig, I'm actually financially in a place where I can afford to rent a house. I'm not so rich that I can buy a house because trust me, buying a house is something I would love to do. Um, but in my city, it is really, really, really expensive. And truth be told, one of the other reasons why I was resisting the sort of the idea of moving out is because I don't like the idea of paying rent. Now, just hear me out. I know nobody likes paying rent. But for me, the idea was like, if I'm going to be paying rent, wouldn't I rather be paying like a EMI or a mortgage on a house that I will own eventually? So that was kind of my thought process. And also I realized like if I am going to pay rent, I'd rather give my parents money for the house. And that way, you know, the money goes to the family, like people in the family are benefiting from that money rather than somebody else. But of course, over time, you know, my thought process has changed. And yeah, you know, I mean, I guess like it's just buying a house looks like uh, an impossibility. Uh, I figured I should move out and at least live on my own for a few years because right now I can afford it. Look, in 10 years, I don't know where I'm going to be. I don't know what will happen to this YouTube channel, what will happen with anything because, you know, YouTube is a very, it's not a short thing, right? Tomorrow you could all stop watching my videos. The keto diet could become a thing of the past and nobody's watching videos and I could go back to being that, uh, you know, <laughs> that broke musician, so to speak. So. I figure right now, while we have the means, why not go and live on our own for a few years at least. And you know what, if the shit hits the fan, I always have this room and this house where we can come back to. So in a nutshell, that's the reason why I lived with my parents for so many years. And these are the reasons why I'm moving out now. And yes, of course, I will give you all a tour of the new house once we are settled in. But for now, that's enough jibber jabber from me. And I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen, which by the way, I upload new videos on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So make sure you don't miss them. Until then, cheers and keep cooking.